Hello everyone, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today we're going to go through how I make my venison jerky. I tend to make it a little bit differently than everyone else and use a different cut of meat. Um, but I do this because I think it's a little bit less gamey and, and my family uh, tends to enjoy it that way. And, and so again, that's the reason I'm kind of using tenders and backstrap instead of uh, ground meat or something like that. Um, but let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how I do it. So we're going to be using tenders and backstrap for this. I know I'll probably get a lot of hate for using this cut of meat for jerky, um, but I've made it once before and my mom really likes it this way. She likes how tender it is and how flavorful this recipe is. And so I'm going to do this for my mom because I'm going home this weekend and, and want to bring her some jerky. So we'll cut these uh, vacuum sealed packages open. And when you're working with this meat, you really want to work with it partially frozen um, because it's a lot easier to cut and into the strips you want and things like that. Um, so for the most part, I've cleaned up the meat. There's a little silver skin and, and some fat on it. I'll trim it up a little bit more as I go. Um, but I'm going to start cutting some strips here um, for the jerky. So, I mean, you can make them however thick you want them. You can kind of see how thick I'm making them here. Um, you know, it just will depend how long it takes to cook. Do you want it, you know, raw car? Do you want it to be a little chewy? Um, I think everybody's kind of got their own little preference on this. So I'm just going to use a Ziploc bag here for the marinade. Okay. So you can kind of alter this recipe how, how you see fit, um, whether you like it spicy or not as spicy. So I'm going to do it how I normally do it. Welcome back. It's been about 26, 27 hours uh, that the meat has been now soaking in the marinade. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And before I stick my hands in there, I'm going to start the oven. So we're going to start it at 170. Um, so what, what we're going to end up doing is we'll cook it at 170 for about um, six to eight hours or so. When you get to the two hour mark, I bump it up to about 200 to try and kill off any germs or anything like that that may be on the meat. Um, Cause at 170 you don't quite kill all that off. And so after that, then I kind of just keep checking on it and I'll flip them after about three to four hours and then I'll cook it all the way through. And, and again, it kind of depends on the consistency you want. If you want it a little chewy, you know, you do a little bit less, or if you, if you like your jerky, you know, hard and crunchy, you know, you can keep it in there a little bit longer. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started laying out the jerky. So I have just a couple pans here. I put foil under them just to kind of keep it clean. Uh, and these are actually, you know, cookie racks, uh, cooling racks here. So I'm going to use those on both here and that just lets the air get under um, and evenly cook the jerky. Um, and so I'm going to grab some Pam because I'm going to spray these just to try and help keep them uh, the, the meat from sticking on the rack. Thank you. 
pup thinks he's gonna get a little bit of venison. He's sadly mistaken. All right, so we're gonna put it in the oven. I've got two racks here kind of spaced out. And also what I'll do is about halfway in between, I'll swap them and turn the racks as well. in there about six and a half to seven hours i pulled one tray out and consolidated to one more um, with all the kind of thicker pieces and so it looks like these are about the toughness and consistency that i want um so i think we're done so there you have it that's how i make my venison jerky hope you all enjoyed and if you are interested in more recipes please subscribe Thanks.